how the everybody i know you guys are expecting me to say what's good everybody change again blah 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 sorry i've changed all right i have a new intro now and it is what's good everybody change again from cz graphics welcome to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make this reason movie poster all right so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial So I'm going to create a new document. So I am going to make my width 720. My height is going to be 900. And I'm going to make my, um, I'm going to target reason. Then the resolution is going to be 100. All right. Uh, so I'm using this frame size because I'm posting this on Instagram. Okay. And I'm going to leave every other settings the way they are and I'm going to select the create button. The first thing I need to do is to create my cloud effect. All right. So I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to call this cloud. I'll make sure that my foreground and my background is set to black and white and I'll go to filter, render and I'll select cloud. All right. Now I need to zoom out and I'll bring out the free transform and scale this big. All right so i'm going to look at the best position for this so maybe i should just flip this and just position this somewhere around here and hit the enter key then i'm going to zoom in all right then now uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to create the thumb all right so i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to call this thumb okay and i'm going to select the lasso tool for this and I'm just going to gently draw onto my saw. Okay. Of my selection, and I'll change the color to um, something dark brown like so and i'm gonna hold on hold and fill the layer with the color of my foreground all right then i'm gonna select um ctrl d on my keyboard to deselect the marquee okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is to create a new layer and call this glow and i'm gonna select the brush tool then i'm going to switch to um white then i'll go to my brush settings go to my brush tip and select the cg cloud brushes all right so if you need this brush there's a link up here that will take you to where you can get the brushes then i'm going to just gently uh you know what let's just increase the size of the brush and i'm going to turn on shape dynamic and inside the shape dynamic settings i'm going to make sure that my angle jitter is on 38 and i'm just going to click now the reason why we need to do that is so as to have different angle like different uh, rotation angle of the brush so now i'm going to just click once all right like so and just in case you notice my brush is not strong like as i'm applying it it's not really giving that real color look the reason why it's like that is because i have my transfer option checked here and i'm using a graphics tablet my control setting is on pen pressure but if you don't have a graphics tablet you can easily turn down the flow to something around 15 and then use your you know your mouse okay your mouse to um, achieve this so now i'm just going to just click and apply the brush to the project like so that's it so then i'm going to bring in the picture of the hand so i'm going to drag that and drop here like so then i'm going to scale this so a position is somewhere around here okay then i am going to zoom in now we are on the interesting part of this tutorial we'll be creating hole on the palm then i'll use the lasso tool again zoom in and just draw and shape like so all right and i'm going to select the layer mask 
and hit Control I on my keyboard to reverse uh, the mask. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create that layer, right? So I'm going to call this depth, and I'm going to select the OK button, and I'll zoom in, and select the brush tool, turn off shape dynamic option, and go to the brush tip. I select soft round brush. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. Still make sure that your flow is still on the 15, okay? So I'm going to zoom in and I'll switch to black, all right? You know what? Let's just pick a color from here. So I'm holding out Alt as I sample a color from the skin, all right? And I'm going to um, just make this darker like so. Select the OK button and I'll reduce the size of my brush and just So add the color to the, the same part of the hand. So I increase this and just gonna gently apply that somewhere around here. Then I need to change my blend mode to multiply while I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna gently apply that here and this over here. So I'm gonna hold up hold and click to put the depth in um, the hand um, the hand layer. So I'm just gonna apply that here. Here, just this here. Just make this smaller and just you know gently apply some here. Notice as I'm doing this, I'm increasing the size of my brush and I'm reducing it. So gently apply this here. So if I zoom out now, this is what we have, all right? So I'm just going to gently, so just in case you notice you've over applied the brush, you can always use the razor tool and just, you know, take out some of the parts where you don't want the brush to look too strong, all right? So I'll go back to the brush again and, you know, just apply that here and here, all right? So another thing we can do again is to sample a color and pick this lighter shade of uh, the skin and create a new layer again. I'll call this depth two. All right. So what we're doing now is to add highlight to the hand. Okay. So I'm just gonna gently apply the color here, apply some color here, and just extend this to this side. And just apply one here. And just create this here. Just you know, make a comic color here. That's a color here. So we need to do the same thing we need that we did to the um, shadow depth. So I'm gonna hold on Alt and click in between the two layers again and put this inside the hand layer. So I'm just gonna gently put some lights around here and just do the same thing here, like so. Some highlight. So we can even add more shadow to this. This brown. I'm going to make a copy of the hand and I'll zoom out and I'm going to scale this down. Okay, and this should be somewhere around here. Oops, that's way too small, so I need to make it a little bit bigger. All right, okay, so this is looking more like it. And I'm going to hit the empty key. So we need to take out this um, part of the ha hand from the layer. So I'm going to select the brush tool. Then I'm going to select the soft round brush. I'm going to turn off transfer, but you can increase your flow back to 100 now. 
and I'm going to select the layer mask of the hand and make sure that your foreground is set to black like mine and I'm just going to take out the hand from the layer like so okay all right so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create a new layer again and call this depth inner and I'm going to select the OK button. Now I'm going to hold down Alt and click to put this inside the layer of the hand. And I'm going to uh, reduce the size of my brush, turn on the transfer option, and then you can now push this back to um, 15. All right. And I'm going to just uh, gently apply the, you know, the color of my brush to the layer behind the hand, just like so. Don't make it too much, okay? And I'm going to um, go to, uh, you know, my adjustment tab here and bring in levels. All right. Then I'm going to push this to this angle. All right. Now you see we're beginning to have that real, uh, you know, whole look. Okay. So I'm going to just move this in like so. Now this is affecting the background. All right. We don't want that. So I'm going to click on this icon here to say I only want this to apply to the wound. So I'm going to zoom in and, uh, you know, Maybe we should just move this down a little bit more. All right. So as to give it that real uh, whole look. All right. This is good. Okay. So this is looking more like it. All right. Um, move it a little bit more. Okay. So this is good. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to create um you know a few layer on the hand so to do that i'm going to hold down control and click on the um thumbnail of the hand layer to create to create a marquee selection of it and i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to call this fill all right then i'm going to select the ok button then i'm going to pick a dark blue all right a dark blue color like so and i'm going to select the ok button so i'm going to fill it with shortcut which is alt backspace and opacity to um let's say 29 all right you know what let's just put this in a group all right i'm gonna put this in a group now and i'm going to bring in my levels all right i'm gonna bring in levels adjustments and click here to apply to just only the hand group okay so i'm going to uh, push this in like so and this should follow like so right and i'm going to push this about this side to this side like so, like so let's push this in push this in like so all right so what I'm going to do is, I don't want this to apply to the whole, all right? So I'm going to select the brush tool and I'm going to zoom in and select the layer mask of the uh, levels. And I'm going to make sure my foreground is set to black and I'm just going to take out the levels from the layer like so. Okay, and I'm going to add the black and white adjustments. All right, and I'm going to click on this again to apply to just only the layer of the hand then I'm going to change my opacity to 73 the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer again and I'm going to call this shadow depth then I'm going to pick a color from here just make it a little bit darker and I'm gonna select OK then I'll select the brush tool and I'm gonna to go to the brush settings and select the you know scissor graphics brush and I'm just going to apply the brush to this side of the project but make sure you have the shape dynamic turn on and make sure your angle is on 38 and I'm just gonna apply the brush to the side of my project just like so Gently do that here. So what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to go to Filter Blur and select Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to make this a little bit blurry. 
like so right then uh i'm gonna create a new layer again and call this zoom effects and select the ok button i'll go to filter render and i'm gonna select cloud and i'll go to filter again i'll select uh, blur and select radio blur so my radio blur settings i'm going to choose best and choose zoom and increase the zoom effect and just push this to this angle and select the ok button and i'll change my blend mode to multiply okay so i'm going to reduce the opacity of this a bit right and i'm going to use the level adjustment to just increase the brightness of this a bit just like so let's let it ok button and um so what i'm going to do is i need to add depth of field my you know the entrance of my tomb here so i'm going to select the tomb layer and i'll go to filter and i'll select a blur gallery and select field blur so i'm just going to reduce the blur strength to seven is fine and i'm going to select the ok button you know what i need to change the color of my so i need to make the color of my tone more darker so i'm going to bring out the levels and i'm going to just uh push this down so all right so i'm going to hit the ok um, button okay so uh the next thing i'm going to do is to add color lookup all right so i'm going to go to the adjustments tab here and add color lookup and I'm going to change my color lookup to teal orange. I'll make opacity seven to six. All right, so I'm going to go to the gradient map adjustment here, and I'll click on the gradient editor. And I'm going to change the color of my shadow to uh, a dark blue color. So let the OK button, and I'll come here and choose um, white. All right make this white and select the ok button select ok here so i'm gonna make my um let's say 41 i'm gonna take it out from some part of the sense so i'm going to select my brush and go to the brush settings turn off shape dynamic and go to the brush tip and select soft round brush now i need to switch to black when i'm doing this i'm just going to take it out from here so now make sure that uh don't forget to turn this back to 100 if you're using a um you know a mouse so i'm just going to take it out from here also right you know what i'm going to make a copy of this and i'm just going to gently push this here and scale this then i'll go to future blur and select gaussian blur okay and i'll reduce the opacity of this and just push it down a bit okay and i'm going to add a layer mask to this and just you know, take some part of the, the zoom effects away from the layer like so now you see we're beginning to see the movie effect look on the project and um, so the next thing i'm going to do again is to add a gradient map and this time my gradient map is going to be something light blue all right something light blue yeah and select okay and select the okay button now this time my resolution is going to be 21. now this is what i'm trying to achieve if you look at the pan now you see we've, we've seen this you know light blue feel on it all right so i'm going to zoom out now and um, the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new layer and call this light all right so because i need to apply some light effect in between the fingers so i'm going to reduce the size of my brush and zoom in and just gently now make sure that your foreground is set to white and i'm just going to gently apply the brush to the fingers like so all
right so now this is the before and this is the after so the next thing we're doing now is to um you know what let's just make a copy of the hand all right so i'm going to hit ctrl j and push this above all the layers like so and i'll reduce the opacity i still want to see the color of the hand all right but not too strong this time i'm going to stamp visible of all the layers and take this to camera then i'm going to go to filter and i'm going to select the camera of filter here so um for the basic i'm going to add a little bit more blue to this not too much and reduce the exposure a bit and i'm going to push the contrast out a bit reduce the highlights all right then for the shadow add a little bit more shadow to the project all right then um for the texture now i'm going to push that out to you know to add more contrast to the pixels and um i'm going to go down to curve here so close this and go to curve and i'm going to reduce the curve i'm going to push down the curve on this side and you know push it up from this side all right and uh, I'll, I'll close that and for the details i'll add more sharpen to the projects like so all right more sharp about the project like so and for the um so we don't have any for the color mixer i don't have anything to do here then i'll go to split tone yeah so for the split tone i'm gonna push this to go around the uh, blue all right it should be on blue and this for the shadow should be on green like so and i'm gonna add a little bit of green to this and add you know blue to the project and you know use balance to just make this uh look more interesting like so all right so i'm gonna push this here like so and you know close this and for the grain i'm gonna add noise to the project all right so as to give it that though the movie effect feel so i'm gonna add um you know grain to this and add a variant all right so as to make you know attention be on the palm all right so i'm gonna put that here like so and um so i think that's it the last thing i need to do excuse me is to go to green under calibration and just pull that up all right just push that up like so and i'm gonna select the okay uh, button this is the before and this is the after all right so uh, i think I, you know what let's just make a copy let's just push this above uh, above all the layers and you know reduce the opacity of this a bit okay now this is good so it's time for me to bring in my text okay so i already have my text now on my project so for those of you that care to know the font that i use here um, for the title, I use Bell M8. I use Bell MT. And for the writer, I use uh, Hoflet Text. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have not subscribed, remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when I post my tutorials. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Peace.